Good evening and welcome to the 2023 Cedar Creek High School Senior Awards Night. We invite you to stand, remove your hats, and join Glenn Buchikowski as he performs the Star Spangled Banner. Good evening, students, parents, and family members watching tonight, and thank you for your continued support of our school, our communities, and most importantly, our students. Students, I extend my congratulations to each and every one of you for your outstanding achievements for which you're being recognized this evening. Tonight is a testament to your hard work and dedication throughout your high school journey. Reaching the stage of your educational career is no small feat. It showcases not only your academic prowess, but also your commitment to personal growth. As a senior award winner, you have separated yourself by showing perseverance, integrity, and a thirst for knowledge. While we're here to celebrate students and their achievements, I would be remiss if I didn't recognize the support system that each of these students have had and has played a crucial role in their success. Behind every successful student, there are teachers, mentors, family members, and friends who provided guidance and encouragement. I encourage the students to take time to express their gratitude to these individuals. Throughout the evening, members of the class of 2023 will be recognized by a variety of community and school-based organizations. These students have made us all proud over the past four years. I'm especially proud of how they've represented their school, their community, their families, and themselves. At this time, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the class of 2023 Senior Awards Night. Please welcome the 2023 Cedar Creek High School Educator of the Year, Mrs. Erin Sharp. Thank you, Mr. Parker. Good evening, Cedar Creek. You are tuning into the program this evening because you applied and or were selected for a scholarship to help you continue to do great things beyond high school. I am sure that you are excited to hear about what you have earned, or maybe you already know. I encourage you to watch the entire recognition program and congratulate your classmates on their accomplishments. So what does it mean to be a scholar? Oxford Dictionary would say that you are a specialist in a particular branch of study, a distinguished academic. Webster Dictionary would say you are a learned person, a person who has done advanced study in a special field. Whatever your future pursuits, you are being recognized. This is just the start of the next chapter of your life. Though you may not always be recognized, always try to aim to be the scholar for life. Lifelong learning may mean getting outside your comfort zone, trying something new, or expanding your mind and body. Making the choice to strive to be a scholar will show in all that you do. Congratulations on being recognized for your outstanding achievements over your four years of high school. Good evening. My name is Mr. Goodrich, and I will be co-hosting our award ceremony tonight along with Mrs. Teresa Phillips. Our award ceremony tonight is broken into two categories, community-based and school-based scholarships and awards. Community-based scholarships and awards are given by local organizations, businesses, families, and individuals in recognition of our students' dedication, leadership, exemplary character, hard work, and passion about service to the surrounding community. Good evening, my name is Teresa Phillips, Supervisor of Guidance at Cedar Creek High School. 
I will be presenting the Dr. Adam C. Pfeffer Memorial Scholarship on behalf of Mr. Tom Grassi, the Business Administrator at Greater Egg Harbor Regional High School District. Dr. Adam C. Pfeffer was Superintendent of Greater Egg Harbor Regional High School District from 1995 to 2010 and led the district enrollment growth during that period. The culmination of his efforts was the opening of Cedar Creek High School, whose Performing Arts Center is named in his memory. As a former shop teacher, Dr. Pfeffer cared deeply for students who had the desire to better themselves any way they could because they reminded him of himself. The Dr. Adam C. Pfeffer Memorial Scholarship was created to help those students attend college or trade school so they could have as many opportunities as possible to be successful in life. It is my pleasure to award the 2023 Dr. Adam C. Pfeffer Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 to McKinsey Smith. The Mullica Township Education Foundation Scholarship is awarded to a graduate of Mullica Township Middle School who is attending college and is active in the school community. This $1,000 scholarship over four years totaling $4,000 is awarded on behalf of Mrs. Kelly Capaldi to Mia Pellerito. At this time, please welcome Mr. Sean Sullivan, Supervisor of Child Study Team, Health and Wellness, and Special Education. Good evening. My name is Sean Sullivan. The Performing Arts and Education Scholarship, presented on behalf of the Atlantic County Association of School Administrators, is given to a student who demonstrates academic excellence, commitment, and service to school and community, and plans to major in performing arts or education. This scholarship is in the amount of $1,000. This year's recipient of the Atlantic County Association of School Administrators Performing Arts and Education Scholarship goes to Riley DeMarco. <laughs> the Knights of Columbus St. Nicholas Council will award two scholarships this evening. The first scholarship in the amount of $150 is awarded annually to a student who exemplifies the positive characteristics that are reflective of Cedar Creek High School and the Knights of Columbus Charitable Organization. That is the right hand of the Catholic Church. This year's recipient is Samantha Hassa. The second scholarship, also in the amount of $150, is awarded annually to a student who is an avid supporter of all activities at Cedar Creek High School. They fully support all aspects of the school community and Knights of Columbus charitable organization that is the right hand of the Catholic Church. This year's recipient is Michael Tharp. At this time, please welcome Mrs. Sue Foreman, Supervisor at Cedar Creek High School. Good evening, my name is Susan Foreman. It is my honor to introduce the Kara's Love Scholarship created by the Serace, Schaefer, and Bluth families to honor Kara Serace Bluth, a teacher and vice principal who passed away at the age of 45 in February of 2021. Kara was a fun, creative, vibrant, and loving person who left a mark on everyone who met her. This scholarship was created to help other people who share her qualities become teachers because every child deserves to be taught by someone who loves learning, who embraces the joy of life, who cares deeply about every person as an individual. In memory of Kara Serath Bluth, their Serace, Schaefer, and Bluth families are awarding three $2,000 scholarships to the following Cedar Creek students. The first recipient is Lauren Waldron. The second recipient is Mia Pellerito. And the third recipi recipient is Kira Lynn Edmonds.
Each year, we present a Cedar Creek senior with the Fannie D. Rittenberg English Award. This award is being presented on behalf of Superintendent Adrian Schulby. This $250 award goes to the Egg Harbor City Community School graduate who has the highest overall English GPA. This year's recipient is Alexandra Amaya. The Trey Briano Foundation is awarding $5,000 to a graduating senior who submitted an essay about overcoming obstacles and how it has impacted their life. This year's winner spoke about their experience with a health condition and the impact it had on their life and their education. We are very pleased to offer the Trebriana Foundation Scholarship to a very deserving student. This year's recipient is Michael Drew Brosh. Please welcome Ms. Linda Walk, school counselor at Port Republic Schools. Each year, the Port Republic School District awards the Allgaier Klima Scholarship and the Beatrice Endicott Mueller Scholarship to a graduating high school senior who is also a Port Republic resident. This student will receive $100 for each award. This year, it is my pleasure to present both awards to Lindsay Lee Blight. Our next presenter is Mr. Michael Manning, supervisor at Cedar Creek High School. Good evening. The Victor McCanny Award is presented to a graduating senior who is enlisting in the military. This year's $250 award is presented to a young man who plans to enter the Army. This year's recipient of the Victor McCanny Award is Joshua Castillo. The Future of STEM Scholars Initiative Scholarship is given to a student whose academic ach accomplishments, extracurricular achievements, and personal essay distinguishes them among a very strong pool of candidates. In addition to a scholarship award of $10,000 over four years, the recipient will also have the opportunity for internships, leadership development, and mentoring opportunities. The Cedar Creek student who has been selected as a Future of STEM Scholars Initiate for the Class of 2023 is Farah Clark. <laughs> the Germania Volunteer Fire Company and Auxiliary Scholarship is a $300 scholarship given to the child or grandchild of a volunteer Germania Fire Company firefighter who exemplifies community service and presents an essay on the importance of serving the community. Since they are a volunteer organization, the scholarship is based on community service hours that the recipient has given during their school years. This year's recipient of the Germania Volunteer Fire Company and Auxiliary Scholarship is Christian Shire. Please welcome Mr. Jim Ernie, Assistant Principal, Athletic Director, and Supervisor of Social Studies. Good evening, I'm Jim Ernie, the Athletic Director here at Cedar Creek. The Destination Athlete Scholarship Award is a $250 award given to a student athlete who displayed excellence in academics, athletics, leadership, and character. This year's winner is Michael Drew Brosh. The Softball Team Award, sponsored by the Softball Booster Club, is a $300 award given to, to a senior who has demonstrated great leadership and sportsmanship over the course of the season. This year's winners are Kelsey McFadden, and Kylene McNeil. Please welcome Mrs. Sarah Leathers, school counselor at Cedar Creek High School. The Policemen's Benevolent Association in Mainland, Local 77, the scholarship is awarded to children of active members, 
children of retired members in good standing or children of members who've passed away while on active duty rolls. At the time of their application, the 500 scholarship is given to a candidate who is accepted as a freshman to an accredited junior college, college or university. This year's Policemen's Benevolent Association in Mainland Local 77 scholarship is awarded to Joseph Ponzetti. The Hamilton Township Pal Dance Scholarship of $250 has been awarded to Lauren Waldron. The Friendly Sons of St. Patrick of the Jersey Shore continued their tradition of supporting college-bound students of Irish descent by awarding $25,000 in grants to 25 deserving graduates. This year recipient for a thousand dollar scholarship is awarded to Lauren Waldron. Please welcome Mrs. Kelly Slingerland, supervisor, to present the seal of biliteracy. The following students have achieved the seal of biliteracy by the state of New Jersey. By achieving the seal of biliteracy, students demonstrate that they are able to speak, read, comprehend, and write two or more languages at a level of high proficiency. Students will receive a certificate from the state for this achievement. This year, we are proud to present three Cedar Creek High School students with their seal of biliteracy. Please give a round of applause to Phoebe Kirschenblatt in recognition of her outstanding proficiency with the Spanish language. Kyleen McNeil, in recognition of her outstanding proficiency with the Spanish language. <laughs> Silvana Torres, in recognition of her outstanding proficiency with the Spanish language. <laughs> the Jonathan B. DeMario Memorial Scholarship Award was established by John and Helen DeMario to preserve the memory of their son, Jonathan, and to reward students interested in pursuing a vocation in science. Jonathan DeMario, a physicist and environmental engineer, was dedicated to the preservation of the natural world. His work and life were tragically cut short in 2012 after his battle with a rare and devastating cancer at the age of 34. In memory of Jonathan B. DeMario, we are pleased to present this $1,000 scholarship to Adam Smith, who is pursuing a career in science. Our next presenter is Ms. Paula Londano, school counselor at Cedar Creek High School. Each year, a Cedar Creek senior is presented with the Egg Harbor City Mayor's Award. This award is given to a graduate of the Egg Harbor City Community School who has earned the highest GPA at Cedar Creek. This year's $100 award and plaque sponsored by Mayor Lisa Giampetti goes to Alexandra Amaya. For 125 years, the Masonic Charity Foundation of New Jersey has fulfilled a mission and a promise to Freemasons their families, older adults, and youth to deliver personalized services and compassionate care inspired by the spirit, ideals, and values of Freemasonry and to promote the highest quality of life for Freemasons, families, and others in the community. This year, the Masonic Charity Foundation of New, Jer of New Jersey has awarded the $4,000 2023 Asbury Jordan Lodge Scholarship to Logan Resch. Justice Lodge No. 285 F and AM of Linwood, New Jersey established a scholarship foundation consistent with the ideals of Justice Lodge and its policies of furthering the educational advancement of worthy high school or college graduates, possessing those qualities of mind and character 
which hold promise of social usefulness and civic leadership. The educational trust is established expressly for the purpose of assisting the son, daughter, grandson, or granddaughter, or legally adopted child of a master mason in the 23rd Masonic District of the state of New Jersey. The recipient of the award must enroll in an accredited community college, college, or university, and attend courses leading to a degree. The scholarship holder is also accepted to enter a postgraduate program prior to or after the completion of his or her undergraduate program. He or she may do so by reapplying to the scholarship selection committee for a postgraduate scholarship. The recipient, the recipient shall maintain a scholastic average consistent with the high standards of the scholarship award. This year's 2023 recipient for a $28,000 scholarship is Logan Resch. At this time, please welcome Mr. Alex Cade, school counselor at Cedar Creek High School. The Mullica Township Education Association Scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior student who attended and graduated from the Mullica Township Middle School. This student must be a current resident of the township and plan to attend a college or a university in pursuit of a career in public education. This year's $1,000 scholarship is awarded to Mia Pellerito. <laughs> Mullica Township Education Association is awarding a second scholarship to a graduating senior student who attended and graduated from the Mullica Township Middle School. This student must also be a current resident and plan to attend a college or university in a pursuit of a career in service to the public. This year's recipient of the $500 Mullica Township Education Association Scholarship is Logan Resch. We will now welcome Ms. Donna Marie Brosh, school counselor at Cedar Creek High School. Mullica Township Parent Teacher Association provides a scholarship to graduates of the Mullica Township Middle School who are the children of parents involved in the Mullica PTA. This year's $1,000 Mullica Township PTA scholarship is awarded to Logan Resch. <laughs> the National Honor Society Exemplary Award is given to a student for their work with the Crisis Text Line. This year's recipient is Jacqueline Dulski. The Mays Landing Athletic Association Scholarship is awarded to one male and one female graduating senior outside of Oakcrest High School who participate in any of the MLAA sports. It is a $500 scholarship. This year's recipients are Adam Smith, Lauren Waldron. Please welcome Mr. John Papps, CEO and President of Hearts and Harleys. Good evening, faculty, parents, and of course, the 2023 senior class of Cedar Creek High School. My name is John Papps, and I am the CEO and President of Hearts and Harleys. Hearts and Harleys is a nonprofit charitable organization established in memory of my son, Gavin Papst and his mother, Michelle Heiss, who were taken from us in November of 2014. One of the goals we set to achieve was establishing the Gavin Pass Memorial Scholarship to be presented to a graduating senior at Cedar Creek High School where Gavin would have attended. Gavin was a huge fan of baseball, loved the Phillies, and his love for the sport grew when he began playing t-ball for the Egg Harbor City Crusaders in 2013. He loved being a Crusader, and I know he would have loved being a Cedar Creek Pirate also. For this reason, we wanted to award the scholarship to a Cedar Creek graduating senior who played baseball or softball on the rec league level and continued to participate in athletics for Cedar Creek High School. Gavin would have been honored and proud, just as we are. And so, on behalf of the Hearts and Harleys Board of Directors, the Paps family, and the Heist family, I am pleased and proud to present, in the amount of $1,000, the eighth annual Gavin Papps Memorial Scholarship to Adam Smith, as well as many wishes for continued success.
Students who receive school-based scholarships and awards are selected by Greater Egg Harbor Regional High School District and Cedar Creek High School faculty, staff, and administration for their academic excellence, achievement in extracurricular activities and athletics, and a strong commitment not only to our high school, but their families, peers, and surrounding communities. At this time, please welcome back Mr. Sean Sullivan. Each year, Cedar Creek High School's Key Club hosts two school blood drives through the American Red Cross. The following students give their time and towns to organize and run the blood drives, one in the fall and one in the spring. This year, a total of 110 units of blood were donated by Cedar Creek students, staff, and faculty, touching the lives of 330 grateful recipients. In recognition of these students' efforts, the American Red Cross is pleased to award the following students scholarships in the amount of $500 each. This year's recipients are Isabella Catalina, and Kyle O'Connor. Please welcome Mrs. Katie DeRitchie, who will present the award for the Greater Egg Harbor Regional Education Association. Greater Egg Harbor Regional Education, education Association wishes to encourage top-notch students from Absagami, Cedar Creek, and Oakcrest High Schools to enter the field of education. Each school awards a $1,000 scholarship to a senior student who has maintained a high scholastic standing, having a B or better cumulative average found on their second trimester of their senior year transcript. The recipient of this scholarship must have exhibited high moral character and good citizenship during their high school years, having have applied to an accredited college and intend to prepare for a career in education. This year's recipient of the $1,000 scholarship is Michael Tharp. At this time, please welcome Mr. John Gazow. Good evening, Pirates. The Cedar Creek Math Club is awarded to our Math Club President for the 2023 school year. It acknowledges their dedication and commitment to enhancing mathematics learning in our school community. This award is in honor and memory of our 2020 Math Club President, Jake Naraki. This year's recipient will receive a $200 award to help further their study in college. This year's recipient is our math club president, Miss Madeline Lee. Congratulations, Madeline, and we wanna thank you for all your contributions as our president for the Cedar Creek Math Club. Please welcome back Mrs. Erin Sharp and Miss Erin Arberg. The greatest service to the class council of the class of 2023 scholarship recognizes students who went above and beyond for the class of 2023. They did this by helping us plan class events, assisting in fundraisers, and they made sure that the class activities ran smoothly. This year, we are honored to acknowledge five seniors who will each be rewarded with a $250 scholarship. The recipients are Carolyn Edmonds, Samantha Hassa, Matthew Quay, Logan Resch, and Michael Tharp. Our next presenters are Mrs. Andrea Kuhar and Mrs. Suzanne Leichnam. The purpose of Student Council is to prepare young adults to be leaders in their selected fields after leaving high school. This year we selected a senior who really stepped up and led the planning and execution of a successful field day. This year's Student Council scholarship recipient is Madeline Lee. Please welcome Mr. John Steffen, Performing Arts and English teacher at Cedar Creek. The Paige Goulden Memorial Theater Scholarship is sponsored by Cedar Creek Theater. 
It is a $250 scholarship in memory of Cedar Creek graduate Paige Goulden. This year's recipient of the Paige Goulden Memorial Theater Scholarship is Catherine Bolio. The next set of awards are chosen annually by Cedar Creek Administration. The Creek Character Award is given to students who exemplify the positive characteristics that are reflective of Cedar Creek High School. This year's recipients of the $50 Cedar Creek Character Award are Dylan Branca, and Logan Resch. The Creek Community Award is given annually to a student who is an avid supporter of all Cedar Creek activities and the school community. This year's recipient of the $50 Cedar Creek Community Award are Isabella Catalina, and Matthew Quay. The Creek Resilience Award is given annually to a student who demonstrates a strong character and perseverance when faced with challenges. This year's recipient of the $50 Creek Resilience Award is given to Devin Oberon. At this time, please welcome Mr. Ed Martino, who will present the Science National Honor Society Awards. Good evening, parents, uh, students, and family. My name is Edward Martino. I'm a science teacher here at Cedar Creek High School. I am proud to be here announcing a new organization that just popped up, the Science National Honor Society. I do have two, two co-advisors, Ms. Haddock and Mr. Chopchinsky, who can be here with me today, but I want to give you a little brief rundown of why these students were uh, accepted or recognized, and uh, those that will be formally recognized at graduation uh, will be wearing uh, gold, green, and purple cords. So the uh, Science National Honor Society is a prominent scientific organization with the goal of recognizing scientific excellence in young thinkers who will be the future of industry, research, and scientific exploration in America. In this era of rapidly changing technologies and scientific advancement, it is time to encourage and recognize high school students in the sciences as well as other industrial uh, formalities. An overall weighted GPA of 98% or higher were the students that were selected as well as a minimum of three honors in AP classes as well as a upper level science class in their senior year, not including any magnet course requirements. So we wanted to make it for everybody, not easier for others to be recognized. An overall rigorous course schedule, including other science and math courses on the prospective student's academic transcript. High character and academic integrity were a must. This year, we recognize 30 seniors. Our first senior recognized is Tyler Beatty, Isabella Catalina, Isabella Cody, Brian Doherty, Isabella Fortunato, Lorenzo Fortunato, Dylan Gershioni, Connor Ha, Phoebe Kirschenblatt, Caitlin Kushnirik, Madeline Lee, Kai McNeil, Jacob Merlino, Kyle O'Connor, Mary Palomo, Ian Palzer, Dhruv Patel, Matthew Quay, David San Pedro, Sierra Sansone, Michael Sears, Brooke Sheehan, Julia Shulby, Adam Smith, Hunter Stubley, Angelina Tadros, Riley Thomas, Silvana Torres, Olivia Vanelli, and Christian Vergaro. I'd like to say congratulations to all the recipients. It has been an honor being most of your teachers over the past four years. Best of luck in the future, and please keep in touch. Have a great night. At this time, please welcome back Mrs. Sarah Leathers. The Peacemaker Award is presented by Peer Mediation Advisors. This award and gift card is presented to a student who has the capacity to see others, a person who has vision, 
who is dreaming and who is acting according to their dream. To create a better world and who walks for all, not for few. This year's recipient of the Peacemaker Award is Michael Drew Brosh. Congratulations to all the scholarship and award recipients. I will now welcome back Mr. Parker to the stage to present the class of 2023 Principal Awards. Last week, we honored the class of 2023 for their excellence in academics, performing arts, athletics, attendance, and citizenship at the annual Principal's Awards Dinner. The recipients of this year's awards are the Principal's Award for Attendance, Elias Chavez. The Principal's Award for Business Education, Lorenzo Fortunato. The Principal's Award for Citizenship, S.A. Akau. The Principal's Award for Culinary Arts, Zyan Kirkland Davis. The Principal's Award for Dance, Morgan Bagstrom. Principal's Award for Drama, Grace Long. Principal's Award for Educational Achievement, Joshua Castillo. Principal's Award for Engineering, Adam Smith. <laughs> Principal's Award for English, Mia Pellerito. <laughs> Principal's Award for Environmental Science, Michael Tharp. <laughs> the Principal's Award for Fine Arts, Kira Lynn Edmonds. Principal's Award for Instrumental Music, Angela Cure. The Principal's Award for Mathematics, Tyler Beatty. Principal's Award for Media, Sierra Davis Hassel. Principal's Award for Physical Education, Angela Cure. <laughs> Principal's Award for Science, Matthew Quay. <laughs> Principal's Award for Social Studies, Jonathan Rivera. <laughs> Principal's Award for Vocal Music, Kyleen McNeil. Principal's Award for World Language, Silvana Torres. <laughs> Principal's Award for Distinguished Athlete, Riley Thomas. <laughs> Second Principal's Award for Distinguished Athlete, Connor Ha. Principal's Award for Outstanding Athlete. We have two recipients. Corinne Morgan. <laughs> and Kyle O'Connor. <laughs> At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our salutatorian and our valedictorian for the class of 2023. First, our salutatorian, Jonathan Rivera. and our valedictorian for the class of 2023, Phoebe Kirschenblatt. And now to conclude our program, Mrs. Teresa Phillips. Congratulations to all of our award recipients and to all of the members of the class of 2023. 
We would like to take this time to thank our senior class advisors, Mrs. Erin Sharp and Ms. Erin Arberg, as well as our graduation coordinators, Mrs. Donna Marie Brosh and Mrs. Sarah Leathers. We would also like to thank our guidance secretary, Ms. Sakia Johnson, for her assistance with the awards and scholarships, Mr. Christian Monroe for recording and editing tonight's presentation, and Mr. Jim Goodrich for co-hosting this event with us. Finally, a tremendous thank you to all of the sponsors and organizations for recognizing our seniors during this monumental year. We look forward to seeing you at graduation on June 15th at 6 o'clock p.m. here at Cedar Creek High School. Thank you and have a good night.